In this video, we discuss long division for integers. In a previous video, we discussed an algorithmic way to compute the quotient and remainder for integer division. While this is an effective process, it can be very time consuming as we often have to run through a loop multiple times. A quicker method is to use the process of long division, which we denote in the following way. We place the number that we are dividing, a, inside of the special long division symbol and place the number that we are dividing by, the variable b, on the outside of this long division symbol. We place the quotient on top of this division symbol and we place the remainder at the bottom underneath the variable a. Be careful not to confuse the long division symbol with the radical symbol which we use to compute square roots. They look similar but have two very different implications. Like with the division algorithm, there are two strategies for long division. One where the number being divided is positive, and one where the number being divided is negative. Here, we'll discuss the strategy for dividing a positive number. The first step is to set up the long division notation shown in the previous slide. The second step is what makes this strategy faster than using the division algorithm. Rather than compute the division of a by b by hand, we can use a calculator and compute a divided by b directly. If a divided by b is an integer itself, then this value is now the quotient, which we place on top of the division symbol. If a divided by b is not an integer, but is rather a decimal number, then the quotient is equal to the integer part to the left of the decimal. To get this integer part, Simply ignore the decimal and all numbers to the right of the decimal, and we're left with just the integer. Next, we multiply the number b by the quotient q and place this value directly underneath of the number a. Finally, we subtract the value b times q away from the value a, and the number that is left is the remainder. To illustrate this process, Let's compute the division of 706 by 4. The first step is to set up our long division notation by placing 706 inside the division symbol and 4 on the outside left. Next, we use a calculator to compute 706 divided by 4, which is 176.5. We only want the integer part of this answer, so we ignore the decimal point and the 5 and our quotient is q equals 176, which we place on top of the division symbol. Next, we compute 4 times 176, which is 704, which we place below the 706 in the division symbol. Finally, to find the remainder, we compute 706 minus 704, which is 2, which we place below the 704. So, the division of 706 by 4 is 176 with remainder 2, which we can express as 706 is equal to 176 times 4 plus 2. For some extra practice, try using long division on the inputs a equals 27 and b equals 3, and again with a equals 484 and b equals 46. For a equals 27 and b equals 3, the quotient a div b is equal to 9, and the remainder a mod b is equal to 0. For the inputs a equals 484 and b equals 46, the quotient a div b is equal to 10, and the remainder a mod b is equal to 24. Next, we'll discuss the strategy for performing long division when the number we are dividing, a, is negative. This process is very similar to the previous one with one significant change. The first step is exactly the same as in the previous strategy. We set up the long division bar with a underneath and b to the outside left. Next, we use a calculator to compute a divided by b directly. If this value is an integer, then we set the quotient equal to that integer part and place it above the division bar as before. However, 
if a divided by b is a decimal number, then we take the negative integer part to the left of the decimal and subtract 1, and then set the quotient equal to that value. For example, if a divided by b happened to be negative 14.359, then we would set the quotient equal to the integer part to the left of the decimal, which is negative 14, and then subtract 1 to get the quotient negative 15. The final steps are the same as in the previous strategy. We multiply b by the quotient q, place this value below the number a, and calculate the remainder by subtracting the value b times q from a. To illustrate this with an example, let's compute the long division of negative 87 by 12. Our first step is to set up our long division bar with negative 87 on the inside and 12 to the outside left. Next, we use our calculator to compute negative 87 divided by 12, which is negative 7.25. To find the quotient, we take the integer part of this answer, which is negative 7, and subtract 1, so the quotient is negative 8. We place the quotient negative 8 on top of the division bar, and then compute 12 times negative 8, which is negative 96, which we place below negative 87 under the division bar. Finally, to find the remainder, we subtract negative 96 from negative 87 to get the remainder of positive 9. So, the division of negative 87 by 12 can be expressed in the statement negative 87 is equal to negative 8 times 12 plus 9. To get some more practice with this strategy, try computing the long division of negative 77 by 11, and again with negative 121 and 47. For a equals negative 77 and b equals 11, the quotient a div b is equal to negative 7, and the remainder a mod b is equal to 0. For a equals negative 121 and b equals 47, the quotient a div b is equal to negative 3, and the remainder a mod b is equal to 20.